special. Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. Trying to get you guys out some messages before next week rolls in, and then it's time to go in the week. So let's get to your messages that I got for you. Um, I got the song for you, "Like You." Bow Wow, Miss Sierra. I ain't never had nobody show me all the things that you did show me in a special way I feel when you're home and we gon' always be together, baby. That's what you told me and I believe it cause I ain't never had nobody do me like you. Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm tired. <laughs> um, I feel like someone in your life is showing you things you're not used to experiencing. It's making you a little nervous and excited all in one. Although you may not feel quite ready for what's happening, it feels good. And you don't want to stop the flow. Some Leos have met someone at work. And now they will be spending the night together. Waking up, going to work, pretending that nothing is going on behind closed doors. Y'all all over one another. Um, I feel like you have met many people, but no one like this person. Just when you wouldn't thought all women slash men were all the same. Then boom, that happens. Some of you are bored with the ending that has taken place and wants some excitement in life. A change in environment. You may even be hanging out at new spots in order to meet new people. Overall, I feel like Leo, you're feeling you're feeling good. Confident apart you feel you feel good. Confident um Uh, and, uh, about um, the direction in which your life is moving. Um, you're planning and flowing right along with it. Okay? So, yeah. Let's jump into it without further ado. God. Universe. Angels and spirit gods. Please give us clear and precise messages for the sign of Leo. For the week of August the 7th. Clear and precise messages. Sign of Leo. For the week of August the 17th. Thank you. What do we got for Leo? Leo. Four of Swords, first card out. King of Cups, second card out. What else we got for Leo? Two of Wands. What other cards do we have out here for Leo? Nine of Wands and Judgment. What else we got for Leo? Three more cards out here. King of Wands. It's you, Leo. Two more cards out here for Leo. They gave us three. Princess of Swords on the bottom. The sun, that's you again, Leo. Seven of Wands, the Three of Wands. Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay, Four of Swords. We got the Four of Swords, which is retreating. King of Cups, okay? Maybe you're trying to retreat from your emotions, okay? Make a decision to try to stay from your emotions or withhold your emotions because you've been hurt, okay? But then a decision, then judgment comes in here and you change your mind because you want this new beginning in love, okay? And you're feeling confident about it and sure, okay? Because this, this is you're really happy here. Okay, and you feel 
like you have um, a higher ground to stand up and fight for this. They have a future with this, whatever it is that makes you happy, possibly a person. Why is the four swords here for Leo? Why did you show us the four swords for Leo? Four swords, why is that here for Leo? Four swords. Four swords, why is that here for Leo? Four swords. Retreating. Retreating. Okay, retreating from not listening to your intuition. Okay? Putting the work in to balance out your life. Okay, so that you could possibly begin to hear your intuition again after a period of being stuck or having a dark night of the soul. King of Cups. Well, let's see. Here, High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here in the reverse? Queen of Cups, emotions, you love a person, and you are not telling them, you maybe are showing them, and they can feel it, but you're just holding it back and not telling them, okay, King of Cups, dang, why is the King of Cups here, for Leo? Could be dealing with a water sign. Okay. King of Cups. Got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Moving slow in emotion, then just having no emotions. Maybe just gonna be in and out, okay? Assessing and reassessing the past and that tower moment it brought to you. So you're like, okay, well, I'm just making a choice to be passionate because I've been hurt and I don't want to be stressed out no more about the past. Two of Wands. I don't want to be stressed out and again in the future by possibly being hurt again like I was in the past. Two of Wands. What's that? Two of Wands here for Leo. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. As I said, your decision is that you were going to be uh, holding back, okay? Your emotions, King of Cups. But then you had a dark night of the soul. Went through a transformation, okay? Or you were being stuck, holding back your emotions because you were hurt, okay? Even though that you could, you did see the potential of stability and a higher level of commitment with this person. And you did want to, in the beginning, you had a little bit of mental imprisonment. And there's that transformation, a dark night of the soul. Nine of Wands. Why is that here? For Leo. The Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Leo? The Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands.
Yeah, we, this nine of wands has you feeling a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm confused. Confused and not sure. Okay, stuck at a crossroad. I'm, I'm unsure, confused. Okay. On what to invest in. What where to put your time in, where to invest your money. You were just working on your money here, working on your pinnacles here. Coming out of confusion here again. That's when you were confused, worried about your money, but you're coming out of confusion. You're retreating. Okay, and after that you begin to change your mind, judgment card, about this commitment. Judgment. Because you you're able to see it with new pair a new pair of eyes, a new perspective because you're coming out of Wounded Warrior at this time. Why well, is the Justice card here? For Leo. Justice. Why well, is that here for Leo? Okay. I'm taking action. Passionately to go invest in something. Coming out of fear. Coming out of being held back. Coming out of anything low vibration or toxic. In order to take this thing into a calmer waters with the Six of Swords. So you can communicate that this is in fact your wish fulfillment. And you do want this new commitment. This Two of Cups. Two of Cups. For Leo. Cups for Leo. Two of Cups for Leo. One more on this Two of Cups for Leo. Okay. Okay, yeah. You're going to be you to make the decision. To put an end to holding back. Okay, because you see that you can have an end all be all in this commission commitment. Okay, you can see fruition. You see the light at the end of the tunnel and you've been through some things, okay? King of Wands. I feel like that's you. Now you're gonna be passionate and take an action towards your happiness. King of Wands. Death card on the bottom again. Yep. You're going to be coming out of disappointment. Okay. Coming out of disappointment. Leaving that in the cold. In disappointment. In order to have your happiness. Okay. Finding a new perception to go about it. Okay. If you were looking at it from a lack point with these two fives, you're no longer doing that. Because you feel this strong bond. You feel this strong connection. And you want the happiness. Ten of Cups and the Sun card. Why is the sun card here for Leo? It's been a challenge, or it will be. It's not been easy. It's been a lot of conflicts and obstructions in the way. Sun card coming out again. Sun card. Why is the sun card here? Sun card twice, okay? It's been not hard. It's been difficult. It's been conflicted. Conflict. Fighting. You're tired. You just want to break, okay? You feel like you got the higher ground to stand up and fight for whatever this is, okay? You might have missed an opportunity. You might just be bored with the conflict. It's, it's in the way of you getting to this sun card. It's out here twice. The wounded warrior could be what's in your way, okay, but seven of wands, you're going to be strategizing, planning, plotting, stand, standing your ground in order to have this happiness, in order to be victorious, to be recognized and appreciated, seven of wands,
Seven of Wands. A Leo. Seven of Wands for Leo. Seven of Wands. Okay. Seven of Wands. You got the higher ground. Because you want to be victorious, okay? Because you see the potential. You see the potential that this could have. Okay, so confidently you're running into investing. This two of cups, okay? I have a future. Three of Wands. To set up on the future. To plan, to strategize. Oh, Ace of Cups. A future with emotions. What else? Three. Okay. Where you see clear, you stand in the truth. You cut out the bullshit, okay? And follow your emotions. And that's what your new cycle consists of. Three of Wands. For Leo. Three of Wands. Could be dealing with a Scorpio for real. Oh, that death card popped up on the bottom. But well, that wasn't on the floor when I seen it first. On the floor, it wasn't upside down. So it's a soulmate connection, and you're going to be moving forward to it after a transformation or a dark night of the soul. Let's get you some advice from the universe. Okay. Here we go. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. Please give me clear. And for the sign of Leo regarding this spread. For the reach of all the servants. Here, advice for August 17th. Thank you. The advice that we have for my Leo regarding this spread <clears throat> for the week of August 17th. Advice for Leo regarding this spread. <clears throat> The week of August the seventeenth. <clears throat> Advice for Leo regarding this spread. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups under that. Four of Pentacles you holding back. Okay. Um, you feel this connection. Six of Cups. You feel the soulmate connection. Okay. I feel like this is you. You have tunnel vision. Okay. And you see this with your wish fulfillment. Okay. 
okay? Be confident. Communicate. Put the work in. Take a leap of faith, okay? Think about the past, but don't let it hold you back. See the potential, okay? So, that's the advice that you have, okay? So, with that being said, Leo, that's what I got for you this week. And if that resonated with any of you, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead as I would like to have you as a subscriber and subscribe. Um, yeah, anything you need to know about me is in the description box. Hope this helps somebody and that's what I got for you this week, Leo. Thank you. See you next time. Namaste. Good luck.